Are you tired of shaving? Because I fucking am. Over the course of the next two months, I am going to be reviewing the Catch Beauty IPL, which has sponsored this video. I have had experience with IPLs in the past, and honestly, they work like shit. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. Now, if you don't know what an IPL is, it is a small tool with a light on the end of it that you press against your body, you click this little button, and it and literally burns like a hair follicle away. Supposedly, it's supposed to work similar to laser, where it's eliminating a lot of the different hairs, decreasing the volume of hairs, and hopefully getting rid of them altogether. Additionally, they tend to work better with people with pale skin and dark hair. Me. And it's pretty well known that they have lesser effects on those with darker skin and or lighter hair. With all of that said, let's go ahead and get to this multi-day process of reviewing this product, starting with opening the box. I'm a little psycho, what can I say? Aha! It is a box within another box! This is the Catch Beauty V4.1. You could actually use my code on screen now for a discount on, I believe, any Catch Beauty products. We open this thing up. It says on the top, yellow lamp, hair removal, blue lamp, acne, red lamp rejuvenation. So I guess it does multiple different things. I didn't know that. We're gonna be using the yellow lamp. The problem with other alternative forms of hair removal on top of being expensive is a lot of them can be extremely untrans friendly. The amount of fear I have of walking in to like get waxed or if I was gonna get laser or something like that like, it's so scary. It's so easy to be discriminated against or hate crime or anything like that. Wow, this looks awesome as I'm opening it up. Look at this big thing. It's got a little fan in the back. It looks like, I'm assuming this is a power button, charger, and this is the light I was referring to earlier. You kind of press this against you. Additionally, it looks like there's other lamps. That's probably what it was referring to on the top. We're gonna leave these in here until I read the instructions. We've also got a new razor, I assume, because you need to shave right before you use the IPL. And a couple different wall outlets, that's cool. So it seems like there's actually adapters for different walls around the world on top of the American one that it came with automatically. So that's pretty cool, honestly, depending on where you live, you know? I know not everyone had, obviously, American wall outlets, so that's a nice little touch. Let's go ahead and read through these instructions. For ideal results, it's recommended to flash in the same target two to three times. Blah, blah, blah. Safety, safety, safety. Just, just kidding. Please read all the safety steps. I'm going to be using this on my arms, legs, stomach, and chest. The last one you will not be getting update pictures on, creeps. I'm a little scared to use it on my face. If it works well, I'll probably do that in the future and make another video. I just shaved in preparation for starting this, so we don't need to use this this time. But let's go ahead and get started. Oh good, so you can see the level of it on the back as I'm making it go down in intensity versus up in intensity. So this is level 5. Fuck it. Let's do the highest level. Let me get out of this big sweater. Let's do this. I'm gonna use the big button in the middle to do it, and fuck it, let's see. That didn't hurt at all. The other one I used fucking burned. So that's already a step up. We gotta do it, let's say, two more times in the same place. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to look at the light when it flashes, so I'm not gonna do that. And we'll just move on. Perfect. I can feel it, I guess, like, singe my hairs a little bit, but nothing like crazy. It's not super painful or anything. I elected not to film the rest of this hour-long process, so here's some pictures of what it looked like on my arms and legs after finishing with the IPL. I wanted to take a moment to show what my hair looks like when it's not shaved, like on my arms, so so here's a couple older pictures of like my arms and that kind of stuff so you can see like how hairy it gets. Now let's get to me in two months. Hello everyone, as of tomorrow, this will be eight weeks in the future from when I last saw you last, I think. Let me tell you, this little baby, she's doing something to me. I would say I have seen a good amount of changes, uh, especially on my arm. So I'm going to kind of roll up my sleeve and show you. So this is, for the sake of the video, I haven't shaved in, God, three days. And it's still like, like you can hear it. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> that didn't, that did not happen before. Um, I'm sure I showed pictures earlier of like the fucking hair on my arms or something, but it is kind of insane that like, yeah, there's like a little prickles like here and there and stuff because I haven't shaved, but it is drastically reduced how much hair is like growing on my body. And definitely I can tell that like the volume has gone down, like the volume of hair that is there when it does go back and how like fine versus thin it is. It seems like it's kind of thinning out, maybe a little softer. Um, as far as my legs and my stomach especially, I have problems with like the strawberries when you shave and it um, like leaves red marks. 
it still like decently leaves red marks on my stomach, but on my legs, I literally, I mean, fuck it. Y'all could, I'll blur out my feet or I'll just do that. There is no red marks anywhere on my legs. And it's like a little prickly, but it's like, it's smooth. It's been, it's been a few days. And I know for a fact before when I would shave, like the next day it would be how it is now. And then the day after that, it would be like, you're fucking growing everywhere. It's crazy. It's, it's like a growth rate limiter, I guess. That's the best way I've been able to describe it. But I think it also does, it, it, it makes it a little thinned out and overall like reduces the volume of hairs. Um, so I would say the biggest pros are it definitely reduces like the volume and it kind of thins out the hair. Um, and then it also makes the hair take longer to grow back, at least in most of my body, I'll say. My arms and legs have seen the best. My chest is pretty good. And then my lower stomach has had a lot of issues um, where I would, uh, uh, but not, you know, I'll get to that in the cons, but but still on the pros, you know, especially my arms and legs and kind of chest. It's been very, very helpful. And as for the cons, I'll say the biggest con is it takes forever. Like I consider myself pretty busy and to take an hour-ish out of like my nightly routine every so often per week is like kind of annoying. But it's not as bad as the alternative of like taking out a whole section of my day to go like to laser or something. So, and I'll say the other big con is like on my stomach and you can kind of see it on the camera, but it's not like too bad, I guess. Occasionally I'll get like more red marks than I'm used to or more ingrown hairs or anything like that. I think for whatever reason, my stomach is like a little, a little sensitive about the heat. I tried like turning the heat down when I use it on my stomach and it didn't like super help, but it did make a difference of like less red marks. So that's been my two like biggest cons uh, with the product. So I'd say overall, like this is a win and it's like something I'm going to keep using after this little experiment. So thank you, Catch Beauty. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show some close-up pictures like I did before. And again, keep in mind, this is after three days of not shaving and it looks like that. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool. I did a really bad job like updating throughout this process. I just did not have a lot of time. Um, I wanted originally to do like uh, every time I did it, I took pictures or like once a month or whatever, but I ended up just taking pictures before and after. And I think that's what y'all are looking for anyways. So you can kind of see the difference and hear from me, my like experience with it. Yeah, I'd say like, I'd say like eight out of 10. I, I think it's not like life changing, but it does what it says it's gonna do. It's not as powerful as like laser or electrolysis would be, but it is definitely a really good, like cheap alternative. Cause it's a one-time purchase. You know what I mean? As compared to like constant sessions of laser or electrolysis and all that stuff. I would say I can't speak for like the long-term effects besides, I guess it's been a few days and it looks like different. Um, but I mean, like if I were to just completely stop using it and then see where I was at in like a month or something, even with keep shaving, I don't know what that effect would look like. So I can't really speak for that. Um, but I'd say as it is now, it has definitely been affecting my body. So obviously it's going to work better on me than someone with, uh, someone with dark skin or someone with very light hair. So. I guess take that into consideration. Uh, but yeah, once again, thank you so much Catch Beauty for sponsoring me and I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Also, don't come at me with the whole Ghost Pop hasn't uploaded in so long. It's because I've been doing this little experiment for the past couple months. So yeah, don't come at me. <laughs> A lot of more videos soon. Bye.